Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you the truth on using expectation with the law of attraction process. Now, when it comes to what we get in our life, realize, and like I always say, so if you watch my videos, you know this, that I say this at least, we don't always get that which we want, but we always get a reflection of who we are being. Now, part of this process of who we are being has to do with the beliefs that we have about who we are, the self-image that we have, that we project out to other people, and then also the feelings and the emotions and the state of being that we're in. Now, when it comes to expectation and what we expect or want to happen, realize that that is only one symbol, that is only one representation of what we can imagine to happen. But when we limit ourselves to that one way that something could happen, what we then do is we then blind ourselves and we tone out so many different opportunities that could be coming into our life that could lead us to something even more powerful than what we originally imagined. So realize that a lot of this and a lot of what I'm explaining today that I think is just so powerful is understanding that we can make what our expectation is and simplify it down to an emotion and understanding that the more we choose to embody that emotion, regardless of what our external is reflecting back to us, that will be the true degree of change, but also that will then bring us much quicker to the kind of experiences that we want. So this is about knowing that more important than the expectation that we have for what we want to experience in our life is the state of being that we choose to be in regardless of what is happening. So to do this, all we simply have to do is realize and simply choose we can give ourselves permission more often of the time to feel the emotion of what we want. So for example, if we want to create more abundance and money in our life, what does that money bring us? Well, a lot of times that money will bring us a freedom, a feeling of freedom, a feeling of doing what you want when you want. It'll give you more resources for acting on your passion. It'll give you more opportunities in general to do things you want to do. When you break it down into that emotion, you can then start to tailor your activities to that kind of emotion and therefore you'll continue to then simply choose to embody it more and more. If it's relationships, for example, you want to create a relationship, what will that relationship bring you? Most likely it'll bring you a feeling of connection, a feeling of compassionate, warm, uh, like a warm feeling to you. And in order for you to simply feel that, realize that all you have to do is tailor your activities around being able to give yourself the kind of emotion of having that relationship within, having that relationship with yourself. Maybe go around friends and family more, whatever gets you to create creating more of that and simply know that as you only have the expectation of the general sense of feeling the emotion and as you start to take action with it, you'll create more of it in your life. Now it's also a funny paradox because the more of that emotion that you create, the more likely you are to then create those kind of experiences that reflect back that original expectation you had. And the other part of this, this video is simply knowing that we can make our expectations much more general. So that's why I said the idea of emotions because they're much more general. But if you have a way that you want to maybe have a certain job and everything needs to happen in a certain way that you expect it, if anything deviates and it's not going along that way, you will then automatically start to take score too soon and you'll start to then see obstacles or it as a part of the problem. So the power of this is making it much more general and starting to define the things that happen in your life as simply a part of the process. It's about the process, not 
the journey. So simply remember this, remind yourself of it over and over again. When something happens that you think is going to negate the expectation you have from happening, realizing it could be something even greater than your conscious mind can know. And as you start to define it in that way, you will then start to see new opportunities and you will start to then come from a frame of knowing that it's more about your state of being. So simply choose to create from a place of emotion. Know that as you give yourself more permission to feel that way in the present moment, as you start to take action from that point of view, you will start to then experience more of a reflection in your life. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love. Namaste. All right, bye.